Hi guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. This is your baby girl Cassie Relax. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the bag you can see on your screen. So please do want to stay and stay with me. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and join the family, okay? Learn more the cut. And so yeah, let's just begin with the tutorial. So I'm going in with my fish line a pro procedure i'm using just this little sugar piece and then i'll need some chain for the handle so that's all what i need for this bag i'm using one and a half half of the sugar piece it depends on the size you're making you can increase it or you can reduce it to smaller size you will see when i'm done with that whole thing then you understand what i'm saying better so please watch the video to the end so that you understand it better so let's just begin the tutorial I'm starting with eight beads one two so eight beads okay eight beads here and then i'm going to cross two two of the beads so i like sew okay so that's how it is so this is eight but then i cross two and so the next thing i'm going to do is to two beads here Then another two here. So two here, two here. And then one. Which is five. So. Okay, so the first one is eight. The second one will be seven. So we have two, four, seven. Okay. So this is what we have now. So with the next step, the B and um, the first one is in one B. The next step, we're going to put three Bs. One, two, three, and then we put another three Bs here. One, two, three, so three, three. But we, we either cross from this one or the side. So one of the one of them you can cross either this side or this side wherever you go you can you can go you can use any direction then we cross one of them okay so with this one two we have another seven one two three four five six seven okay so after making this in with five beads okay we put five beads on this one this particular thread so and then we cross the last one so you can see what we have now so we're going to go through the next two beads like so now this is a ring of six so we have eight seven seven six and then we go through the next two beads so now the, the first line is in three beads one two three so we need a ring of six so we just add three beads to it to make it six so we have one Two, and then three and then we cross the last one and then we're gonna go through one two now it's still in three beads so we are, we are going to add another three to it
And then we go through the next two beads again. And then we go, we pick another three. Then we press it. And then this one, we're going to pass it through only this particular bead here. As I pass it through that, we, you know it's in two beads now. So we are going to add four beads to it. One, two, three, and then four. Because we want a ring of six. So since it's in two beads only, we are going to add four beads. And then press the last one. So we just pass our fish line into this this bead this one bead here four beads to it again and then we go through the next two bead We add three beads since the fish line is in three beads. We add three beads to it. So then we cross the last one. And then we go through the next two beads again. Then the next two beat. So you should be getting something like this, as you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna put the next cord into this particular bead here, just this bead. So the point we've reached is the normal for for thing that we're going to do here. So basically, the fish line is in two beads. So what we do is we add two beads to make it four so let me press the last one so after this one it's in one bead so we add another we are not going to put it in any next bead we just add three beads to it because the fish line is now in one bead so we add three to it to make it four again And then we put it in the next one bead. Okay. So from here, it's in two beads. So we're going to add two to it. I said we are on the four four, the normal four four thing. So yeah, it's already in two beads. So we add two to it to make it four. So guys, I'm going to repeat this and go through this list so I get here. Then I'll show you the next step to do. So just add.
from here just add two two to it Just add it to it. So we still add to B now. So now we have something Done. like this, and you will still go through this particular one bead, just one bead. And we still need the four beads. So what we do is, we will add two beads to it. We are not going to put this in any bead. We leave it like that and we add three beads to it again. So after the two, we add three again. And then we're going to go through the next two beads. Okay. So this is what we have. And then since it's in three beads, it just won't fall. So we add one bead and then we cross it. Okay. And then we add three beads again. So after crossing the one, we add three beads again. So like so. Then press it. And then we go through this particular bead. This one bead here. So afterwards, now it's in two beads. So all we do is to add the two beads to it again. So I'm going to continue until I get here and then I'll show you the next thing to do. I'm getting something like this. We're gonna go into this bead. I 
and then we add two beads to it one two we press the last one we're not going to put this in any bead so the next one is three beads To make it a boring because it's only in one one bead okay so after getting something like this we go through this particular bead So we are continuing with the tutu is what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything different. I'm just continuing with the design. So I'm just going to continue from here. So I get to this point, okay, this particular bead here, this one here, then I'll stop. So I'm going to do the rest till I get there. Okay, so guys, I've gotten to the point I wanted to get flat. So, so what you're going to do is you just have to, okay, you see the ones that we read here? We're just going to weave all all over like so. So this is how we just break it. Okay, so something like this, just like we are weaving all over, trying to make sure it's tight. So what I do is, I still continue by picking the same two again. And then we go through this particular bead. Let me put one here. One here. And then we cross this one. This is what we have. And so we put two sugar beads on this one. And then you see those two beads. We're going to skip it and then go through the next bead here. This is what we have now.
Okay, so guys, this is it. Then go to the speed again. So we're going to the speed and the speed again. Because we're going to close the whole thing that we weaved around. Then we pick one bead and then cross it. So this is what we have as it's now. So I'm going to weave all around the second time. So, so guys, I have to... So guys, I have to chip in this. I actually did this for the video that I'm shooting, so I am not wrong. Just that when you're making yours, please make sure you don't tame or you don't make the one that you made here the same as the one that you're coming to join it together. She will mess up big time. So I did that and I had to remove this along the line. I am putting this video inside so that you don't mess out. So what I did was you see this side is the open side and then i read to this side so where is, i was supposed to leave it open it actually came down like so it's supposed to be here not here so instead of me going this way rather i went this way and then i left the space the five space here of which i had to remove everything again and then redo it so please make sure you don't make this mistake i made just to avoid things, but it's just the same person. Just make sure you don't know, make a mistake. The space I have to leave it here, so I'm gonna go this way rather instead of this way. So this is where I ended up with. So I'll begin with that. So guys, I'm about to get to a part that I want to stop, but it's just like, okay, let me get there first. So, what I actually did was, I repeated the same thing here, and this is what I have been able to do. So, it was just like, I went all around, and then I was able to achieve this. But then I left five beads open. You can leave six, you can leave seven, that is, it will come around the side. But at five is okay, so I left five open. So you can see from here, one two three four five okay so this is the first one so with this one too i'm going to leave the same whatever you do on this one just to repeat the same step here so with that one two one two three four five so i have to make a 10 here okay so what I do is I put two beads on and then we go like so. So now you can see we have two, four, five here. So we are going to do this. We just have to go all around again. So anytime you get to this point, you stop, you make a turn again. So if I was supposed to turn in then because I've gotten the number of sides I want, I'm not going to go around again. This is okay, because I'm going to join it together. But, but since I just want to show you, if you want to go around again, you just have to start with your three again. This is an illustration. I'll stop right now.
okay so you can see then go through this is so then the next thing is maybe two will follow again so at the end of the day you just have to go all around when you get here you make another turn go all around come back here again you make another turn so you are going to repeat the same step to get this size okay so that's what i did for this that's what i was able to achieve this way. but from here i'm going to join the two together so i'm going to remove this and then i'm going to interlock it so just go through some of the pieces because the size i want is okay so i'm just going to but if you want a bigger size you can just increase it and make it bigger but I made 16 of that. So here is 13. Here is 2, 15. So I'll join with 1, then it'll be 16. So guys, I just changed it. And then this is what I have now. You can see both is can the same way. So what we're going to do is we're going to join the two together like so. So I'll just cut so just cut some fish line and then I'll insert it here put one bead and then this one too From there, I'll pick one because it's pick one because it's. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue from here, join it all the way from here to this side to the end, and then I'll show you the next thing. So I'll join it from this side, and this up our thumb. So from here we're going to interlock it. Or better still, you can weave the handle like the cover of the bag. So what I'm going to do with mine is you can either leave the side on weave and then just do the side to cover the back, or you can start from here and then do it. Just like we're not going to add it. So let me just start with that. Guys, from here, I'm going to interlock it and then we begin to weave the cover of the bag. So I just go through some of the beads here. <laughs> Club 
Sophas go with three Bs. And then we pick two Bs. So guys, I'm going to continue in from here, so that I will make a turn. So I'm going to continue to I end this particular bead, and then we make a turn. So from here, I'm going to make a turn. I just got to like this. Seems like the normal beading bags. And then we begin with another three. I'm going to use the same process. I'm going to continue to I end the back. Yeah, the cover of the back actually. Just the same process. So I'm going to continue me till I get the desired length that I want and I'll stop there. You can see the space I was talking about here and one here. So I'm doing the last set and then we're done with the bag. Basically, you're done with the bag. Okay, so guys, I fixed one of the chains here. So what we do is, basically, we just have to open this. So we now need a lot. 
lock to lock the bag i believe right now everybody knows how to lock a bag i'm not going to do that in the future so let's go with this bag about inside and it turned out to be um please do want to hit the subscribe button like the video and then share it as well thank you